everybody, it's your old pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences with a brand new tutorial on the first edition of X-Lights 2022, a .1. Now there's a few things that are packed in the uh, new version of X-Lights and they've hit the ground running and I'm only gonna cover one. I think this is huge. I think this is a very cool thing that can help out a lot of new people when designing their shows. And, and probably help prepare you for placement of models, depending on the size of these models. And so, you know, the question I'll ask you is, uh, does your layout measure up? Did you know you could measure your layout? Every year I help people, I always ask them, you know, I'm gonna need dimensions. I'm gonna need how many feet and inches or meters and centimeters and all these things to properly know how many lights to put on a house. Well, you're going to need to know that too. At least it would really help you if you did. Now, X Lights for a while has had the ability to use a measuring tape in the 3D world. So I'm going to show you how to do this in 3D. And then I'm going to show you in a 2D layout what I think will work for you just the same. Now, the 2D layout's a little temperamental and it'll probably crash on us, but I'm going to do my best not to make it crash. So in the 3D world, we have what's called 3D objects. My home is in 3D. And everything here looks okay, except uh, these are supposed to be 48 inch and they look a little small. This doesn't look right. And there may be some other models in here that are not quite the size they should be. So the closer you get this, the better is what I think. So in our 3D objects, we have our grids, we have our mesh, and then we have nothing else. Well, we need something else here. If you click on add object, we can choose this lovely little tool down here called ruler. And what it will do is it will put a ruler in your show. Now you can't see it because it's buried. It's under all this stuff. So just, you know, move it out the way, get it to where you can see it. You're going to scoot this over to one side of your home. And because it's 3d, you're probably going to need to scoot things around and get it to a point where you've got edge to edge and you can see, I'm going to get this as close to the edge of my house as possible. That looks pretty good there. Then I'm gonna click on this corner piece so I can drag it all the way across to the other side. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna eyeball this and I'm gonna bring this right in here. That looks pretty good. That's centered enough. What's cool about this ruler is you can tell it the distance between the left side of your house and the right side of your house. And you can do this in meters, Centimeters, millimeters, yards, feet, and inches. Well, I'm gonna use feet. And my house happens to be 50 feet wide. So I'm gonna save that. What this in essence is doing is telling X lights that based on this X coordinate, we can determine, or X lights can determine what sizes of these models would match these coordinates or the length of this coordinate. So let's test this out. I'm going to go to my models now. I'm going to double click in the background and let's click on a prop like this XLS 450 from Gilbert Engineering. And what's new in 2022.1 that you've never seen before is dimension. And I think this is another Scott Hansen special here. Check this out. The dimensions of this thinks it's 2.73 by 2 point by 3.15 by 3.83. Well, the depth of this is not super important. I don't think we need it super thick. If I turn it sideways, it doesn't really look like it's three feet, but I'm not worried about that. What I do know is that this is four feet, roughly by four feet. And that's the size of the flake that looks like it should. And then I'll simply click on my other like flakes and I will do bulk edit. Uh, I'm sorry, I will do resize, match size. There we go. Now I've got my flakes done. This best star, this uh, starburst from Gilbert Engineering, I know is 60 inches tall. So I will go to my height and I will change this to five feet. The width, I don't remember. I think it's three feet. Let's just put it at three and see what we get. Looks good to me. I'm loving it. Save. Uh, my Dazzlers. 
I accidentally ordered the wrong size. That's on me. They're not four feet. They're really uh, three feet, 36 inches. So if I change this to three, and then I put this to three, that's the size they really are. And I'll just do that again here real fast. Double click in the background, make this three, make this three, and that's the actual size. This guy here is 54 inches. So it's a little larger than four feet. So this is 4.65. I think that's about right. Uh, these are certainly four feet. So I would make these four feet by four feet. Save that. Come over to this side here. We'll just do it manually. It's pretty fast. And four feet and save that. And what's nice about this is if you know the width or height of your house, you can better be prepared for what you may need to order in the number of pixels, the sizes of the models you may need to order. It just makes it so much nicer. I know that this is supposed to be four feet. It's a little too large here. And I'll change this to four. And this is more representative of what it would really be like. It works for the tree too, folks. If you have a tree, this should be 16.5 feet. I think I actually got this one pretty close. It's 16.31, but it should be 16, well, yeah, 16.5. Let's just do it. The width of it should be exactly eight feet at the base. And the depth, I'll put it eight feet. Love it. Look at that. So cool. This, that's four feet. I might have made it a little too large, so I can bring this down just a little bit. Oh, I made it too big. Four. Four, there we go. So we start getting these perspectives correct in here by putting the actual size of the models. So you can see these dazzlers look a little bit smaller. That's actually real world how they look in my show. Uh, these guys are 24 inches. So let's see how close I am. I got them a little bit larger than they are. These, these are supposed to be two feet by two feet. So there we go. What's kind of cool about this, this really lets you know how much room you may have above and below. So if I wanted to put more flakes in here, and it's my first year and I'm not really sure what's going to happen with my show, this is going to help you out. Okay. Now there are some models that don't like to play so well with this. Uh, the arches here, these triple arches are only going to give you the length. So here's a cool thing. Uh, the length on these really are uh, six feet, one inch, but it's at 6.0. That's close enough. I'm not going to mess with it. I think they look fine. Uh, but on these custom models, uh, these will all work. These are pretty big. I really, really like this. And of course, it'll certainly work on 3D models. Uh, 2.85 feet by 2.74. These are a little bit larger than they really are on here. But I like the way they look on here. So I'm going to leave it alone. It doesn't bother me. So let's transition into the 2D world. I'm going to bring up a different instance of x light if you're in the 2d world and you're not 3d that's okay hang hang with me for a second all you really need to do is click on this 3d box even in the 2d world click on the 3d box go into the 3d and even though you're not in 3d and there may not be this house in 3d behind that's fine go into your 3d objects okay and let me just delete this one delete delete delete, delete. And you may not even have a mesh. You may not have anything in here. It doesn't matter. If you have nothing in here, don't worry about it. Just click on Add Object Ruler. That ruler is going to put something in here because we're in 3D. We have to go find it. Again, just drag this out in the open somewhere and get it positioned into place. Okay. Now, let's see here. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. And to click on this corner. And I'm going to get this over here and then I'm going to click back in the center and I'm going to bring it down and try to get it into place. It's got a, a, quite a ways to go back. As long as you can see it, that's all we're looking for. Now, as you'll notice, it's buried underneath. So what you may want to think about doing is just bringing it out further than you think you need, right? And if I'm going to bring it out a little bit more, 
I'm going to bring it out a little bit more because I want to see this arrow. And the reason I'm doing this, just make it longer than you think. And then we can put it into place. Now I'll grab this handle. I'll bring this over here. Go ahead and zoom in with the scroll wheel. Just kind of get it lined up about where that corner is. That looks pretty good. Then take the right side and line it up to the corner of the house. That looks pretty good. I like that. Then tell it, what is the distance from the left side of the house to the right side of the house? Let's go with feet again. Let's go with 44 feet. We'll take a guess at that. Click save. And then you can just get out of your 3D. You're back in your models. And now we can work on these models. And right off the bat, you can see somebody was creating these mini trees, sort of an old fashioned way. They drew every one of them by clicking on the tree and told it how many nodes. And they're sort of a hot mess. So these really should be 36 inches tall. So we click on our dimensions and we tell this that this should be uh, three feet and the width should be 1.5. That's a nice two dimensional tree. Excellent. Okay. Now the rest of these are all wrong. So what, what do we do? We hold down our control key and we click on the remaining mini trees, right click, resize, match size, much, much better. And then you can get these all lined up. So, you know, if this, if this belongs right about there, you can also select all your mini trees, right click align to the top. And it's a little bit better. You know, we've got to move some things around. That's okay. That's, that's, that's easy enough to do. But all the trees are the right size now. We can look at some other things here. Uh, these are supposed to be 48 inches. So that's four feet. These are not sized properly. And we'll do this again. We'll make them. That looks good. While that's the correct height and width, right click, resize, match size. That's good. This looks a little too big to me. I mean, this... Yeah, it just, it just sort of, yeah, it's too much. So let's go down here and see. Yep, sure enough, it's a foot and a half, nearly too big. So we'll make this four, make this four. And if you don't like that depth being one, no big deal. Make it one, click save quick before it crashes. Oh, uh-oh. Yep, see, I knew it was going to do that. But don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It happens. So in the 2D, uh, maybe they'll come out with another way to do this in 2D, but for now I would call this the shortcut way. Uh, you need to trick your display into being 3D just to put the ruler and get the measurements and then go in here and put in the correct sizes. That's all it really is. Back to my layout, I think we're done. This was a quick tutorial on using the ruler for uh, measuring your home and allowing your props to have the proper size. Props having proper size. I think that's a proper statement and I'm properly out of here. See ya.